See, normally a parent and subsidiary relationship shall be established so that the parent can derive economic benefits from the subsidiary. Given this background, it is very natural that there shall be transactions between the parent and the subsidiary. Basically, right now, the parent and subsidiary are two separate companies. So when they are separate companies, they are doing transactions with each other. That is understandable. But when I prepare consolidated financial statements, at that time, I will consider parent and subsidiary to be a single company. And when we say that parent and subsidiary is a single company, we ought to eliminate the transactions that have occurred between the parent and the subsidiary. For example, the parent is selling goods to the subsidiary. Right now, parent is a separate company, subsidiary is a separate company. So yes, parent can sell to the subsidiary and subsidiary can purchase from the parent. So parent will credit this as sales in its P&L, subsidiary will debit this as purchases in its P&L. But when I prepare consolidated financial statements, at that time, parent and subsidiary will be considered to be a single company. If you are a single company, how can you sell to yourself? If you are a single company, how can you buy from yourself? So when you prepare consolidated financial statements, the parent will eliminate the sale and the subsidiary will eliminate the purchases. So what we will do is we will consider as if this transaction had never taken place, what would have been the position of the p &L? However, you may be able to eliminate the sale and the purchases, but it is quite possible that there are certain goods which are remaining unsold and hence lying in the inventory. In that inventory, there can be profit. There can even be a loss also, but there can be a profit. This profit will turn out to be unrealized profit. This unrealized profit has to be eliminated. For example, the parent is selling to the subsidiary and booking a profit of 1,000 rupees. Right now, parent is a separate company. So no problem that it has booked 1,000 rupees of profit. But when I will prepare CFS, parent and subsidiary, as I said, is a single company. Can you sell to yourself and book profit? Obviously, I can't sell to myself and book profit. So whatever profit that was booked earlier is deemed to be unrealized and the unrealized profit needs to be eliminated. Likewise, if the subsidiary has sold to the parent and has booked profit, the subsidiary also has to eliminate the unrealized profit. So how shall this unrealized profit be eliminated when we are applying accounting standard 21? So let's discuss this point. Let us consider a case where there is company A, and let us say the company A has acquired 80% shares of B. So we will consider A as <clears throat> the parent company. We will consider B as the subsidiary. Two possibilities are there here. A will sell to B or B will sell to A. Okay, let's consider one after the other. Okay, let's consider one after the other. Keep this relationship in mind. Let us say <clears throat> A sells to B. As we know, A is the parent. So basically, this is parent sells to, sells to, yes, subsidiary. So this is the case. This is what is popularly referred in accounting standard 21 as a downstream sales. We say this is a downstream sales. So parent is selling to the subsidiary. It is a downstream sales. How shall I eliminate the unrealized profit in this transaction? Yes, let's discuss that now. Let us take some figures and understand. So let us say we have company A. It sells goods. It sells goods to company B. And consider here. The cost is, let us say, 9,000, but the selling price, let's say, is 10,000. So there is a profit over here of 1,000, right? So how will I eliminate this profit? Simple, that is very simple. Ask yourself, ask yourself, who has booked the profit? Ask this self. 
who has booked the profit tell me who has booked the profit the parent is selling to the subsidiary so who has booked the profit the profit is booked by the parent company isn't it the parent has booked the profit okay and now ask the second question second question second question is where is the profit lying right we'll say where is the profit lying that's the second question that we should ask ourselves tell me where is the profit lying profit is lying in the stock or we can say in unsold stock obviously if it is unsold then only it will be stopped so it is lying in the unsold stock so this is how the profit will be eliminated profit has been booked by the parent so from the parents p and l the profit should be eliminated so what we will say is parent has booked the profit so please eliminate eliminate from books of parent so eliminate from books of parent that is eliminate from consolidated p and l isn't it i'll say eliminate from consolidated profit and loss account where is the stock uh, sorry where is the profit lying it is lying in the stock so when you prepare consolidated balance sheet you will take the stock of the parent and to that you will add the stock of the subsidiary so from the figure of the stock the unrealized profit should be eliminated so we say here eliminate eliminate from consolidated stock right i will eliminate this from the consolidated stock so when i prepare my consolidated balance sheet at that time i shall be considering the stock figure i should reduce the amount of the stock by the amount of the unrealized profit so parent is selling to the subsidiary parent is booking the profit remove from the books of the parent similarly the profit is lying in the stock eliminate from the stock that's how the treatment will be done remember this treatment will be done only for the unsold stock right that was the reason that i have written these words unsold stock for example over here a is selling to b think in this way a sells to the subsidiary b and then b sells to third party the moment you sell it to the third party profit becomes realized profit is unrealized only to the extent of unsold stock so let us say the question says that a sells to b b sells let's say b sells 80% or not 80% let us say b sells 60% to a third party so b is selling 60% to the third party so this time what was the original profit the original profit was 1000 but we will not eliminate profit of 1000 60% is already sold so 60% of the profit has become realized you will eliminate only the balance 40% so balance 40% of the profit will be deemed to be unrealized so 1000 into 40% that turns out to be 400 400 rupees of profit should be eliminated by us comfortable this was the case of downstream sales another possibility is also there yes consider a as the parent company over here consider b as a subsidiary over here the other possibility is that it is the subsidiary that sells to the parent under accounting standard 21 this is known as upstream sales right when the subsidiary sells to the parent we say it is upstream sales okay consider it in this way now right as we were saying here we have company a and we have company b this time b has made a sale to a let us say the cost is 9000 right selling price is 10000 so there is a profit of 1000 rupees how to eliminate the unrealized profit again ask the same question what's the question who has booked the profit ask yourself who has booked the profit this time this time the profit is booked by subsidiary ask the next question 
where is the prophet lying tell me where is the prophet lying where is the prophet included prophet is lying in the unsold stock right this time the stock will be with the parent so it is lying in the unsold stock so the elimination is simple now who has booked the profit subsidiary has booked the profit earlier parent had booked the profit so we were removing it from the books of the parent this time we will eliminate from the books of the subsidiary so we say eliminate from books of subsidiary so i'll remove it from the books of subsidiary tell me what will happen when you will eliminate from the books of the subsidiary whatever share that the parent is getting from the profit of the subsidiary will get reduced and whatever share minority shareholders are getting that will also get reduced after all the profits of the subsidiary and consolidated financial statement belongs to the parent if you will remove it right if you will remove it from the books of the subsidiary parent share to that extent will reduce whatever is the remaining profit that belongs to the other shareholders which is the minority shareholders so minority shareholders interest will also reduce so this time when we say eliminate from the books of subsidiary what does that mean right what does that mean it means share of parent share of parent and minority is reduced so the moment I will eliminate the unrealized profit, the share that goes to the parent company and the share that goes to the other minority shareholders will get reduced. Here it is lying in the unsold stock. Simple. Eliminate from consolidated stock just as we had done it earlier. Eliminate from the consolidated stock in the consolidated balance sheet. In the consolidated balance sheet, I'll take the stock of the parent i will add to it the stock of the subsidiary remove this total is the consolidated stock from that remove the unrealized profit again remember that same point the profit is unrealized only to the extent of goods lying in stock right pa uh, subsidiary sells to the parent and parent sells to a third party the moment you sell to a third party your profit becomes a realized profit so if they are saying that 30% of the goods are lying unsold, then only 30% of the profit is unrealized, right? Just as you have unrealized profit, there can even be unrealized loss. Just as you eliminate unrealized profit, unrealized loss should also be eliminated. Unrealized profit is getting deducted. Unrealized loss shall be added back.